Hello again, everyone. Kata Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter, here to give you another one of my fabulous monthly updates of U.S. housing starts and construction activity. We are now toward the end of January, so we're talking about December 2021 housing construction, and it is up in December from November, and it is up for full year of 2021 compared to full year of 2020. And as you know, 2020 was a lot of housing activity, a lot of real estate activity. So for this past year, 2021, to also be up is quite something to think about in terms of where is the market and what is going to happen for this year, 2022. And so one of the things that I've been talking about regularly for the past year, year and a half in terms of construction is the difficulty of builders in finding lots to find land to build on. Availability of lots is low. Inventory of lots for sale is low. This is now beginning to draw the attention of investors. So far, I've been saying that the housing market is not in a bubble. It has been real people buying homes for themselves to live in. It has not been speculation. It has not been inventory building. It has not been investment. Now it looks like that's changing, but given how tight uh, the inventory of homes for sale is, it's going to be interesting to see what these investment groups are going to end up doing about that and what impact that has on the actual house sales and prices. Um, and so we have a 44% um, increase in construction authorized but not yet started. That's for December of last year. Uh, that's for 2021 compared to 2020. And it has been rising every month. So these record levels that we're seeing of you know price increases and tight supply are going on month after month. This kind of thing doesn't just stop, you know, one month or two months ahead. It has a while to work out through the marketplace and so does indicate strong uh, home sales and construction activity still to come. Um, another really interesting piece of data says for every single family home completed there are 9.5 units still under construction which is again proof of you know really sustained strong demand. Uh, this is the highest ratio ever since the data started. Uh, so let's look at the graphs of the housing home building activity, which is monthly for the previous month, against my lumber prices, which are weekly for that week. And let's see if we can figure out what's going to be coming now, as uh, soon we'll be in the spring home building season, which is the strongest part of the year for construction activity. So this latest data release is out for December of 2021 and also for full year 2021. Total housing starts were up 1.4% in December compared to November and were up 2.5% compared to December of 2020. And if you're looking at that graph, the black line is total housing starts and the gray line is single family. So you can see how at the end of last year, November was pretty strong, but December was down. This year we have the reverse on the black line. November was uh, similar to November 2020, and December was up a little bit. For single family starts the gray line, December 2021 was down 2.3% compared to November. Uh, for full year, we have full year housing starts in 2021 up from 2020. And now we have single family. So the black line is starts and the gray line is permits. And as I say, permits are important as they are an indicator of future intentions to build in two months. So if we have permit numbers for December, that means that around February, that home is going to start being constructed. So permits for total housing are up 9.1%. That is incredible for a month like December. That's compared to November. 
compared to December of 2020, total permits are up 6.7%. For single family, compared to December of 2020, total permits are up 8.5%. This is very good indication of continued strong home building activity in 2022 as we saw in the last two years. Still on housing starts real quick while you're looking at this graph of the benchmark lumber price western spruce pine fir. That purple line to the left is the price. The data for permits pointed out that housing authorized but not yet started for December was up 1.1% to 270,000 units, which is the highest on record. The reason given for that was the difficulty in sourcing building materials, which includes everything but does include lumber. So as for this lumber price, Western Spruce Pine Fir 2x4s, for the week of January 14th, the price was $1,170 dollars US per thousand board feet, which was up $70 or 6% from the previous week when it was 1100 and was up $367 or 46% from a month ago when it was $803. So that's what I'm talking about. The price is still increasing for the week of January 14th, but it's increasing more slowly than it has been for the past few weeks, which might indicate somewhat of a leveling off of the price. And so here we have Southern Yellow Pine, 2x4s on the east side. Southern Pine prices are reported west side, east side, and central. East side being uh, produced on the highest volume. So like the western spruce of the previous graph, that's why I use this to show. You can see that the yellow line uh, of 2020 is relatively the same as the western spruce. But the blue line last year is somewhat on a different trend. And that purple line to the far left this year looks a little bit similar, but we'll have to see. So this price was $1,515 US per thousand board feet in the middle of January, up $40 or 3%. And for the previous month, it's up $610 or 67%. And here is the same data presented as a table. If you look over to the far right, for uh, the change compared to one month ago in mid-December. You can see that the increases were anywhere between 20% up to 54%, whereas week over week, the changes are between 15% and 30%. So prices are still going up, but more slowly. Uh, often when this happens, there will be a leveling off so we'll have to see where we're at at the end of January. But like I said before, usually it's February where the most volume of lumber is sold and the prices are the highest for the year. Okay, great. And so you can see the strong correlation between the lumber prices uh, indicating what will happen with home construction and giving you a good idea what to expect going forward. And so to stay up to date, click subscribe here on my YouTube and click like so other people can see this video. Also, go to my website, madisonsreport.com, and along the top menu there, uh, there's a uh, click subscribe where you can fill out a form to receive a sample of the full 500 individual solid lumber and panel prices for that week and the 1200 word market commentary that goes along with that explaining why the prices changed the way they did. And um, just to end, I'll say a couple of things here about the data for the housing market to let people know really why it's going to stay strong for, you know, some time to come. Uh, December 2021, there were 769,000 single-family homes under construction, which is up 26% from one year ago. There were 750,000 multifamily homes under construction, which is up 15% from December of 2020. So we have, you know, the relationship between softwood lumber production, sales, shipping, construction activity, housing, demand, 
home sales house prices. And there is a lot of data that goes into our analysis. So stay tuned, come back often. And um, US new home sales comes out tomorrow. So I'll be making another video explaining that against my lumber prices. And we'll see, it's only January, 2022. Unbelievable. <laughs> um, there's a whole year to go. And if it's anything like the past two years, is going to be a lot of activity and business.